Back to the beginning, why did we start GBA? Why did we see the necessity to do this? For an answer, you have to imagine the environment we were in around the early 90s. Vietnam had just emerged from a decade of almost total isolation. The overall situation was very difficult. Each license that needed to be obtained took very long time for approval. You had to fly to Hanoi for every application, for every meeting with officials, for every renewal process. So we saw the urgent need to get organized, to speak with one voice, to exchange experiences. What better way than to establish a business group of people with the same interest? That was the overriding reason for getting GBA started. Then there were the daily power cuts, uncomfortable when you are sitting in an office. More than that, if you try to run a factory. There were no apartments for rent. You had to rent a house which cost between three to five thousand US dollars or stay in a hotel. There were no supermarkets. The best were three little shops in Hamni Street, the so-called dragon ladies who stocked a few Western goods. The foreigners that were here were either very young because they cost their company little money while trying to build something in Vietnam, or they were experienced Asia hands because their company knew they would need experienced and patient people to get something going. There was this tremendous feeling that for Vietnam a new era was starting, that a new chapter was being opened. You felt like being in the middle of a big entrepreneurial startup story. Everyone could sense this excitement. Because of this feeling, the everything goes mentality and the unusual bunch of people that were coming to Vietnam in these early days, we did not call it the Wild West, but the Wild East, where everything goes and everything is possible, or none of it, and all at the same time. But there was more to it than just the aspect of improving the environment for doing business. There was very little entertainment in those days. No cinema, no satellite TV, no foreign newspapers. So getting together for fun to find out how someone else had solved a certain problem, to exchange experiences was extremely important and valuable. Networking. That is one of the most valuable benefits of GBA activities still today. Simply bringing people together. GBA always comprised both, the business side as well as being a platform for social events for its membership and beyond. A regular Chamber of Commerce could never have achieved that in the early days. We could do so only because GBA was always financially independent and independent from any outside interference. That enabled us to create many events that were very specific to our situation in Vietnam. The results were great. The monthly business meetings that feature relevant presentations on doing business in Vietnam, for instance. The huge Oktoberfest, the Hansetag, the fan mile with the most fans in Saigon in one place during football championships. Deutschentreff bringing together the German-speaking community once a month. The German ball, Saturday excursions to factories in the province. All these events were very much sought after. So GBA was actually a combination of Chamber of Commerce and German Club for many years. And many visitors from other countries envied us for the fact that we could bring all these people together, that we had such a great unifying spirit among us, such informative, high quality events. 20 years is a very long time though, especially in a fast developing country like Vietnam. And winding the clock back 20 years to when we established the association I and mean, the the times were remarkably different communications were very rudimentary we didn't have emails we didn't have mobile phones and in those days even the business attire was very different uh, uh, we had ties with tie clips but uh, we wore short sleeved shirts which uh, nowadays I must admit would look rather funny but uh, in those days we didn't have offices uh, like we have now and we all worked in uh, renovated uh, villas. Over the years the requirements on a business association have of course evolved. People have changed, the business environment has greatly improved, the social life is much more diverse. There are numerous events every day of the week now. 
Vietnam has tremendously changed to the positive in that period as well. Just look out of the window and the change is obvious. To understand the success of GBA, it is important to understand its character as a member organization. Members for members, that is the DNA of it. Except for a part-time secretary in the beginning, everything was done by members in the board. All was done with the free time and initiative of individuals, especially the board members and the chairman in particular. In hindsight, we can say GBA and the community was lucky that we always had people in the board and in the chair who were fully committed to the idea and the spirit and built on the work the predecessors had left. I know that sounds a bit romanticizing, but we all have seen other associations that practically imploded overnight because of the wrong people at the top and members losing interest quickly. Slowly but surely GBA is becoming a victim of its own success. That is a good thing. The era when purely a voluntary board can do all the work is coming to an end. The membership is growing, the workload is increasing, the requirements are getting more complex. That is another reason why the merger with the AHK Chamber of Commerce is the right step into the right direction to ensure professional continuity. Continuity in the interest of the members, but also of Vietnam, because what benefits our companies also benefits Vietnam. German companies bring substantial investments, create thousands of jobs, bring income to many more families, pay lots of taxes, bring job training and education, open foreign markets and thereby contribute to the development of Vietnam overall. In hindsight, that my biggest reward of dedicating so much time and input into this uh, um, GBA was getting to know people I would otherwise never have met. And that was a fantastic reward and, and a brilliant time to have been able to experience all this. The reason for me to join the board was uh, to give back to the people, um, to newcomers, especially those arriving in Vietnam with little experience like myself in the beginning and to help them to be successful, to settle in and uh, have a fruitful business operation. I'm absolutely convinced that we still have a very high potential to attract more German companies for their investment in Vietnam. The support that the, that the business community gets through the GBA is a fantastic uh, is a fantastic event. Um, we I mostly appreciate the, the uh, uh, mix of a good party mode and the uh, down-to-business attitude. Um, it's a very compact community but I think uh, very powerful and uh, um, we had uh, we shared fantastic moments together. 
Naturally, GBA offers me as well a great opportunity to meet other people, learn from their long-standing experience in Vietnam, and also to make new friends. I'm humbled having the chance to be part of the inspiring team and experience firsthand the foundation of a bilateral chamber built on strong German-Vietnamese cultural roots. The GBA is actively promoting the German culture uh, into the Vietnamese society, such as the Oktoberfest, the German Bowl, but also organizing a lot of field and company trip in order to introduce the German culture and thinking to the Vietnamese society. Going forward, I would like to contribute to support the German Business Association to be a strong and trustful and reliable partner for the Vietnamese government but also for the Vietnamese people. The other critical item I think that always keeps cropping up was that we adopted English as the business language for the association um, and I think in retrospect this was also uh, a right decision just to be more inclusive uh, of all the members that we had. We were able to establish a, a Vietnamese German dialogue forum uh, right in 1996-97 um, as a precursor as it were to the uh, World Bank sponsored uh, Vietnam Business Forum. Nice events created. We also have the Oktoberfest which we started before even GBA but that eventually became a GBA event. Our first event was with 80 guests and today it's the biggest Oktoberfest in Southeast Asia with 15,000 guests on seven days just in Ho Chi Minh City and four and a half thousand guests in Hanoi. So we develop very nice events, social events, business events, networking events and I think that that really is one of the great characteristics of GBA helping each other, exchanging information and networking. I really appreciate very much that the GBA is uh, taking care about business needs for German companies, but also providing a platform for cultural exchange and also taking care about education, for example, for schools, for vocational training and also for universities. To meet the high demand in building up local talent, GBA has initiated and has organized the successful German job fair in Ho Chi Minh City in October 2015. It was the first German job fair here in Vietnam. I wish that we continue to play an active role in Vietnam's economic and social development by organizing such as event in future. 20 Jahre sind eine lange Zeit und es ist eine äh, große äh, Bewegung geworden. Ich erinnere mich, als wir die Diskussion hatten, in die Eurochem einzutreten. Die Unterschrift habe ich damals geleistet und äh, damals gab es auch einige Diskussionen, ob das alles so seine Richtigkeit hätte. Aber ich denke, das war, das war ein guter Weg. Und wir haben jetzt äh, eine, eine starke deutsche äh, äh, Assoziation mit unseren europäischen Kollegen zusammen. Und, äh, und, und das ist gut für Vietnam und auch, auch gut für uns Europäer. We have provided insights for newcomers from the German Mittelstand into Vietnam to help them to set up business here and to operate business successfully. GBA has been one of the first business associations in the country, starting its activities already back in 1995. Over that period of time, GBA has been the center point of German business life, culture and values in Vietnam. It helped German businesses in developing their operations, advised on a wide range of topics and created opportunities for businesses and social exchange in both Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City. I would like to specially thank and express my sincere gratitude to all previous chairmen to all previous board members and the GBA staff and of course to all of those who have supported the GBA over all these years. Without you, we would not be where we are today. But of course, I would like to also thank our loyal members. Without them, this organization would not exist.
I'm very, very proud and honored to be the chairman of this organization in its 20th year of existence, which today has almost 190 members and is one of the strongest business associations in Vietnam. We have indeed achieved a lot, but of course there is more to come. With the new organization, the German-Vietnamese Chamber of Commerce, we will break new ground and we will be even better positioned to serve and represent our members in the vibrant Vietnamese economy with its prosperous future. In Vietnam, I had my very first experience with the German Business Association abroad. My first meeting I had with Elma, with Elma Dutt, here in Saigon. The second one in Hanoi with Knut Kiefer and with Oliver Massmann. And well, I recognized all the three guys, they have the same haircut. So I was a little bit shocked and really, I thought about really to be more engaged uh, in this GBA. But afterwards, I met also Alex and Holger and all the other nice guys. And then I was decided, okay, that's the right association. And uh, I'm really proud and happy to be part of it. Actually, I came to the German Business Association like the Virgin Mary. Uh, basically, we came to the child. It was Alex Bischoff who uh, basically brought me to the German Business Association to board. And one year later, uh, he was also the one who initiated that I should become German, uh, a chairman of the German Business Association. So thank you, Alex, yeah, for all the uh, initiative to give me more work uh, for, for five more, four more years. Many people are thinking being chairman of the German Business Association is a full-time job where we're well paid. No, it's not. It's an honorable position. And now, since I'm not anymore chairman of the German Business Association and retired, I look for another hobby. And I found it. As I said, you have to be also a little bit, keep, uh, you have to keep secrets as well because uh, you should not tell everything what happened uh, uh, as a GBA chairman. You have to be also silent sometimes. When people ask me where I'm coming from, I always answer, I'm a French from Hamburg. I've been living in Germany for the last 25 years and working since more than 30 years Fondermann Café Group, which is a leading coffee trading organization in the world. My name is Boris Blas. I'm 41 years old, married, and with my Vietnamese wife, we are having two lovely kids. I think one of the more exciting little uh, issues that we discussed at one meeting was which Haribo gummy bear is the best. And the minutes actually disappeared, so I think we'd need to rediscuss that, but if my memory is correct, we decided on the red one as being the best. Congratulations GBA for 20 years, successful work in Vietnam. We are the board members in Hanoi and we are very excited for this anniversary. The GBA never more important than now and uh, we would love to get involved more and increase the influence of the GBA in Vietnam. But of course we also want to be successful and um, in the future. I mean one example is the merger, the upcoming merger of AHK and uh, GIC and uh, together with the GBA. And also we want to focus on a more business-oriented uh, focus in the future and we're looking forward to your contribution. 
2015 was once again a great year after 20 years, so we need you. We hope that everybody will, will get involved also for the next years and let us have a 2016 and 20 next years also very successful. I wish everybody a very happy 20-year celebration, good health, success to your business and um, good luck to everybody. 20 years German Business Association, happy birthday and congratulations. I wish the GBA a fantastic uh, time after 20 years of good work. Um, we are looking very much forward for the next 20 years. Today I wish GBA a very Good anniversary. Auf die nächsten 20 Jahre, to the next 20 years, haben wir Nam Toy. Alles Gute, Cheers and Henga Blei, euer Boris. Happy Birthday, GBA, Chukmung Singyat, GBA. 20 years German Business Association, that's a remarkable achievement. And congratulations to all of the members that uh, were involved. GBA. Congratulations for the first 20 years and all the best to continue this successful development. Herzlichen Glückwunsch, happy birthday GBA. Congratulations to 20 years of outstanding work and an enormous contribution to develop and foster the economic and social relations and friendship between Vietnam and Germany. Die GBA, der 20 20-jährige 20 Geburtstag, noch mal klar, 1 2 3, ne? Happy Birthday GBA, der 20 Jahre ist eine lange Zeit und das ist eine starke und große ähm, Organisation geworden. Happy Anniversary GBA. GBA. Happy anniversary. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Looking back to the start of all this and our expectations what a business association should be doing, it consisted of basically three things to be the unified voice of German business in Vietnam, to be the platform for networking for the community and beyond, and to be of benefit to the business of its members and of Vietnam. And last, but by no means least, have some fun and excitement while doing so. Looking back at these initial ideas, I think we can say GBA over the last 20 years was really a great success story. So now it's time to take the next step.